traveling to Malolo Island, Fiji. Fiji is a country that's made up of more than 300 islands. It's um, a great getaway from Minnesota due to be on the ocean and looking at coral reefs. This is just a picture of the whole island that we'll be staying on. This is what your bungalow is going to look like, and this is the side that faces the ocean, and so you can see like the ladder to get out of the water, and then here is all of the bungalows over the ocean on the beach. Here's some more pictures of the inside of it. This is just like when you sit on the bed and like the couch, it looks out the porch on the ocean there. And then that's just another picture of like the bed and all that. And then the bathroom, and then here's the platform where you can jump off and swim and snorkel. So there's an infinity pool that's really cool looking over the ocean. And then the other picture on the bottom right is an eating and entertainment spot in the resort. So day one will be just your travel day to get there. The plane ride will be 14 hours. Day two, we're gonna go snorkeling over one of their coral reefs there. And it's just a really cool thing to experience. On day three, we'll be walking along the trails and the beach um, to get to Minerolco Point. And it has an amazing view of the island and the resort. Day four, you can just really have a swim and experience the island and yeah, just do what you want. On day five, you'll be taking a short boat ride out to a coral reef spot where you can go diving with all the animals and look at all the reefs. Day six, you can go parasailing or if you don't want to do that, you can just do other stuff and just hang out really and relax. And then on day seven, it's going to be a jet ski safari where you'll take your own jet ski and go on a tour of the island. And then day eight is going to be our travel day home. The weather in Fiji is pretty hot at the season we're going. We're going like at the end of November to the beginning of December and it doesn't rain that much in that season. It rains a little bit, but you don't get a lot of rain. And so it's a pretty good time to go. So for the bungalows, it's gonna be about 10,600. Is that total price for one person, or how many people are you? Um, we were planning for? on having four people. That's like most people that stay in the bungalows there. So there's four per bungalow? 
So the 10000 is for four people? Yeah, if they don't cost like per person, they have it per night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like that you had some relaxing days built in, but what if there are people who want to have activities every day? Are there things available for them? Yeah, there's like entertainment things that you can watch and you can, there's a lot of beaches there and and yeah, there's like a lot of stuff so. The and entertainment things are other activities that mm -hmm. you can. Okay. And there's a lot of different kinds of pools and stuff. Okay. Can you tell us more about the all-inclusive? You mentioned that meals were included. Is it like buffet style or do they um, have room service or can you talk more about that? Um, there's room service and then in the mornings I think they have a buffet. So the room service is pretty nice because you can like order it and the rooms are pretty far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah and there's three meals a day that come like What age group were you targeting with the with the um, trip? Kind of like middle aged kids, and like two, and then two adults. Yeah. yeah. Oh, families. Okay. What do you think would be the most fun thing about this trip? Um, I think the like really cool beaches, and it's really clear water, and the snorkeling's really cool because they. So the resort is um, kid friendly, and um, is there? So is there? Remind me, is there a pool as well as the ocean? To yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like an infinity pool. So it's like it's pretty much. Okay. And there's like some pools that like they like look over the ocean, and they there's some that are kind of connected to the ocean that are really cool. And does the resort provide snorkeling gear, canoes, those sorts of things for free or are those additional to rent? They provide snorkeling gear because you can snorkel right off your bungalow on the little deck thing that there's a picture of. And then there's like a ladder to climb back up when you're done. So you can go snorkeling off of that. Yeah, and the canoes and stuff, like kayaking and stuff, that would be a little extra, but it's not that expensive. <coughs> So it looks like the cost of the bungalow is the is ten thousand because it's about ten thousand dollars a yeah. person really, when, right? Or is it, or did we decide that it's for back more? to that slide? For all four people, yeah. Because the airfare would be per person, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's like the total cost for like the people. Yeah. For four people to go yeah, to the like trip. Yeah, there was like a cheaper. Oh, I think it was. Yeah. 